Good morning, everybody. Jeff from Rust Bucket Valley Garage. I'd like to take and show you something on the uh, the Kia Optima transmission. Uh, we have this one that uh, we're going to be changing out because it's a broken part uh, right inside here. So, um, in looking at uh, YouTube University, which is the uh, the other videos that are on the subject matter, I noticed that um, this, this piece of equipment here, the transmission, is buried so far down inside the car. It's under the induction system, it's under the battery and everything, and you can't really see what they're talking about. So we have one out um, that we're going to be tearing up a little bit and uh, doing some stuff too. So we'll probably take and rebuild this. So when you take and do a, uh, a drain and fill on these type of transmissions, you can't really tell um, where they're, uh, they're telling you to do stuff. Um, the first thing that uh, you want to do is take and drain it, okay? And this would be the front of the car and this pan right here that has a valve body in it would would be facing the front of the car. It's it's almost behind the uh, the left front uh, headlight. Um, your drain plug is over here on the side, and you notice it's draining out right now. Right. Right there. Okay. On the drain plug, there's a magnet. Okay. You want to make sure you take and clean that off real good. This will collect all the metal debris that uh, comes off of the uh, the clutch discs and everything, so that uh, it'll keep it from going uh, into the transmission. Uh, this right here is is considered like a maintenance-free sealed transmission. There is no dipstick. Take and check the level. Okay, however, um, if you have done any work on uh, third members, which would be the rear ends of cars, you'll notice that there's a drain plug on the bottom and then there's a fill plug that is up higher. This is similar to something like that. Um, all the oil went ahead and drained out here. Um, it looks like it's just about five quarts. Um, this right here is where the vent tube is. There's generally a hose on here that comes over and uh, there's a bracket right here and it's got a little breather on it. Okay, if you go ahead and you unscrew this, okay, this is where you fill the transmission from. Okay, so I would start with four quarts and go ahead and put those in there and then start the vehicle up and run it through the gears a couple of times, drive reverse, you know, drive reverse, drive reverse, uh, get the wheel spinning just a little bit. And then the way you take and check the fluid is there is a port right here that you need a wrench to take and get off, okay? And when you take and pull this plug out, there will be just a little bit of drainage of transmission fluid if you have it um, at the, uh, the right level. If not, just so go ahead and open this up, put a little bit more in there, run it through the gears. What you're doing is you're getting the air out of it, out of all the clutches and everything, and you're getting the pump primed up and everything. And then when there's um, a little bit of, uh, of drainage out of here, go ahead and put that back in. Okay, and then make sure that um, you use a, uh, a 3 8 extension. Just go in there and make sure it's tight. Okay, don't over torque it. This cover is plastic. This is plastic. According to um, the internet, which everybody knows they know everything in the whole entire world and which is a real handy resource. Uh, they suggest you use uh, Mercon Dextron 5 
or six for uh, for this, which is the same stuff that they use in uh, Fords. Okay, so if I'm wrong, please uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, then go ahead and run through the gears again once you take and get your your level set, and then you ought to be in good shape. And uh, I wish you good luck on your project. All this stuff is accessible. You have to take out the um, the induction system to take and get to the fill because it sits all on top of here and the battery sits about right here. So to take and get to this fill plug, yeah, you have to take and, uh, and take the induction system out. This right here is readily available. Drain plug is ready, ready, readily available. There we go. But this is not a particularly um, hard task. Uh, save you some money instead of going to the dealer, have them take and doing it for a couple hundred bucks. You can do it for the cost of fluid and a little bit of your time. Okay, so I wish you good luck in your projects and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you next time.